All right, guys, I'm here today. I just wanted to do a quick video and let you guys know about this, another report that I'll be sharing with you. Uh, one of the reports that comes out of Amazon is called the Customer Feedback Survey Report. What this does is whenever you make a delivery uh, to a customer, um, they're sent a survey. So not everybody completes it. Some do, some don't. It's just like you and me. Sometimes we get a package, we get a survey, we take the time to complete it. Sometimes we don't, it's just like that. But this report actually reflects those people that actually took the time to complete the survey. So this does not mean all the packages that you delivered. This just means that there was a subset of those packages to those customers that you delivered out of the hundreds and thousands of those that you delivered, a few of them took the time to complete that survey. So what this survey shows is like how satisfied were the customers with the delivery that you made? Were you respectful of the property? Did you take the time to call them? Did you not ruin the yard? You know, things like that. As you go through this, I'll send you the whole report, you'll see that 39 of our drivers, the top ones, whenever they were sent a survey to one of the deliveries that they made, it came back 100% positive. So they had zero negative experiences with their customers. Or according to their customers, they had zero uh, negative experiences. So those are 39. Now the others, as you come down, you'll see from the report that some people um, did not you know, respect the property, were not polite, whatever reasons are given, you'll see it in the report. One of the biggest reasons that actually impacts this report is when you do not deliver the package according to the instructions. If it's supposed to be delivered to the back, if it's supposed to be delivered to the front, and you don't do that, that's something that really comes back to haunt us. You will see, for example, in row number 39 where Quentin is, he had all positive surveys, right? And there was this one person that complained about the fact that he delivered something where it was not supposed to be. Maybe he didn't go to the back, maybe there was a dog, I don't know, whatever. So he complained that the delivery was not made to somewhere where it was not supposed to be and he got dinged on. Immediately, he could have been 100%, he fell down to 90 some percent. And as you go down the list, you'll see that those people that are at the bottom of the list, um, those are the ones that have the most number of deliveries that they make that they're not supposed to make at that particular point. So this is something that you need to look for. We all need to look for. So again, key point here, guys, please pay attention to the instructions. One very important thing towards the end, I want to repeat this, make sure it sinks in. This was good that these people just filled out a survey. If these people had actually taken the time and made a phone call to Amazon and complained to the fact that you did not deliver the package where it was supposed to go, that's a tier two, guys. And you have three tier twos in two months or less, Amazon will offboard you. So we're lucky we're getting this information before. We know what to do, how to fix it, and we're gonna go fix it. Thank you very much. Let's make it a great day and deliver smiles. Thank you. Oh.